Hey guys, it's your favorite podcast again. I'm on your first host, Herbert. Bronny. Enrique. And Jonathan. And um, damn, so should we give a shout out to the birthday girl first? Yeah, let's go. So Kristen, she turned... How, what? 20, I uh, 20, I think. 21? No, no, we already said yeah. 22 last time, but I think she turned like 40. No, I don't know. But uh, <laughs> happy birthday, Kristen. Um, happy I birthday. hope you liked the present that we gave you. Um, it, you know, it was Herbert's idea. So thank you, Herbert, for oh, yeah, like, going out of your way on a, a weekend to go get the present. I don't know if you want to say what we gave her, but we gave her... We gave her uh, our actually a, a gift card from our favorite shop. Uh, but we didn't R. put any money in it. So she's going to have to go to the store and oh, add actually, money to it. I actually stole it. So <laughs> good luck, Kristen. So I don't think it has money in it. But no. but yeah, so I was happy. You surprised me when you sent the text to you know the baddies group chat. And you're like, hey, um, I want to get her a present. And I was like, I was kind of thinking about it. But I don't want anybody because I was busy the weekend. Yeah. But like I said, you went out of your way. So, you know, thank you, Herbert. Of course. Um, also... I didn't know. I was surprised because we know how we have our weekly Wednesday join. I didn't know that Fabi, uh, not Fabi, um, Soraya got a cake for her. Oh, I, yeah. I was surprised too. Like you guys caught me off guard. Like because yeah. we're waiting and we're like because you know how sometimes everybody leaves. Mm -hmm. So uh, well, we were afraid of Kristen leaving, so we oh, had to yeah. plan this out with Soraya. Yeah. So so I was telling Herbert on the run right now that um, obviously Soraya is like you know, out and about, and she's like. I don't know. She will hold Kristen down if I tell her to. And she was like, hey, I was like, hey, um, we have a little something for Kristen. Like, just if you get there, because obviously yeah, I'm in the back. I'm a slow runner. Duh. But I was like, hey, if you get there, like, just hold Kristen, like, for a little bit until we all get there. And then we have a little something for her. And she's like, shut up. Did you get our cake, too? And I was like, oh, no. Like, did you? And she's like, yeah. I was like, no, we got her a little something else. But um, just, like, hold her off, you know? Because, I mean, people usually get there or, like, some people leave or whatever. So. I don't know. It was kind of nice. We all got together and then we sang her, you know, happy birthday. And then the cake came. The cake oh, the was, cake came the in. The cake was a vegan chocolate cake. Yeah, because she's vegan. Uh, even though sometimes she, um, I guess she breaks. Uh, she's you know, a, she's like a half vegan yeah, or something. Half yeah. vegan. But still, like we, the cool thing is that you know, vegan cakes are cool. Like I like it. Yeah. It was a good cake. They're it was good. actually pretty good. They're good. Yeah. yeah, and it's still sweet. And um, not only that, uh, uh, Fabby bought some chocolate, so that kind of hold everybody off too. Because we bought, she brought chocolates from Seas Candy. Um, mm -hmm. so everybody's eating chocolate and then that's, that's when the cake came in and uh, I posted a video on it so I'll be posting it on the Instagram and I'm going to put it on the highlights yeah. but yeah we say happy birthday to Kristen and then she was caught off guard like yeah. I said I was caught off guard so it was pretty cool and then we were hanging out out there for a little bit uh, we ran what well, like about 3.8 miles or something 4 miles yeah yeah almost yeah, almost 4 miles and then the date uh, you know what I ended up doing though I ended up going to Zusa Pacers me and Priscilla we went, even though Soraya, you know how Soraya always runs with the Susan Pacers? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, she was she couldn't make it because she was busy, but I ended up going with Priscilla, and I ran 4.17 miles. So so I, I, I came from there to running, you know, three miles. So I did, like, seven you did miles. a little bit over than half a marathon. Oh, yeah. 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 No, yeah. Um, not half a marathon. Oh, a quarter. A quarter. A quarter, yeah. yeah. No, so. half a marathon is 13 miles. But, yeah, right. I almost, I did half, half a half marathon. Yeah. But uh, it was cool. Um. I felt good like right now as of now I still feel good mm -hmm. I still I, I feel like I can I get to run more. again after the podcast or no no I'm done running right now wow. but uh yeah so I'm excited uh it felt like family ran I don't know if you guys how you guys it, felt to, yeah honestly all the people it was a very good crowd I liked this running group today that we had it was good well mm -hmm. we like all no but this no I'm just saying this one was nice a lot of people showed up yeah yeah we yeah we had I don't know like 15 people yes yeah. uh, including us yes yeah. yeah yeah it was a big group I liked it and then, uh, do you realize this month we've almost like had something to eat, like every day, uh, almost every uh, running day? Yeah. <laughs> shout That's out crazy. to shout out to Tina. Oh know, yes, yes, Her yes. Herbert's girlfriend Tina. Thank you so much for bringing the cookies uh, that you baked last run. Like yeah. everyone, lo everyone loved them. Actually, yeah, they came back to me today saying that uh, they want the cookies again. So mm -hmm. uh, I hope you get on it, get the ingredients because you're gonna keep doing it. <laughs> Tina, yeah. Yeah, I'm just like, <laughs> no, but uh, it, it's crazy because uh, I know Andrew was saying like, man, I we just ran and we ate some, but at the end of the day, it's like you still your, your body's still getting tired. You're still mm -hmm. conditioning yourself. Um, I don't know if you guys know, but when people do like half marathons or marathons. You gotta eat. Like you need sugar in you your eat body. Snacks People along eat the way. mid midway of the yeah. You eat mid mid yeah. halfway in because you need that sugar, that crazy intake. So I feel like I don't feel like it's a yeah. I see it as a cheat day, but dude, I had like two chocolates and I had a piece of the the vegan chocolate cake, and I I don't feel no like what is it? I don't feel bad about myself, you know. Mm -hmm. I wish we had milk, like almond milk, because you know it, it would it would be good with that. But you no know, water would do it. But uh, yeah, it, it was fun. I felt I felt happy, you know. You should put everybody. milk in like a, your like a water bottle. 
So what's wrong with it? That's disgusting. <laughs> Bring your, your camel back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, For, forget about it's, it. It's all cream by the end. Well, uh, <laughs> hey, but Enrique has been joining us though. Oh so. yeah, our oh, favorite, yeah. our favorite marine. He never lets. He always brings it up. It's crazy. I know. And today he stepped it up a notch. He was wearing He's, a weighted vest. Yes, you know, you know why though, right? Yes, he's gonna get a ship. You're gonna go back, or uh, no? I'm I'm done going to war. But I I went. <laughs> I was I was challenged by Ramon like last week because he was like, "What's up?" I, th- I thought you're supposed to be all strong, and he was just talking smack, and it, it's all in, in good faith, of course. And I was like, "Nah, fine." The next time I wear it, and he didn't even sh- show up today, so I'm, I'm I'm gonna talk smack to him later too. But next time I wear it again, and then hopefully wear the full weight this time. Oh yeah, how'd you feel? I think I asked you briefly, but like, how, how, I mean, at the end of the run, how'd you feel? Um, my knees a little bit. I just mm. felt them. Like you, I, I you don't know. Like re, you felt like Ronnie, huh? I mean, they weren't hurting. <laughs> I was fine, but like I could just tell there was a little more tension on my knees than normal. So it was just the weight. Did probably. you feel like complaining and not showing up for a whole year? Like uh, no, no, no. I'm gonna be there next next time next okay, week. Okay. <laughs> but and, and I'm gonna wear the entire. I want to try it too, pounds. but I, I'm all, I'm like scared. I'll like I won't be able to pull it pull it through. I ran like four point four miles today because I was running back and forth. I, I think to the, we we did what like three three point five. It was like three point seven. Oh. And actually, I want to like Ronnie's been coming every week now. Oh, I know. I'm happy. About, I'm, I'm yeah. like good for you. Hey, Ronnie, thank you guys. Keep it going, man. And we've been talking about this, Ronnie. You've been hitting the five o'clock gym session or six o'clock. It doesn't matter what time it is. But hey, you told me. What did he tell me today? That your your uh, Apple Watch is telling you that what? Good job. Oh yeah. So obviously, like it tracks like your fitness, um, like activities or whatever that you want to record. Um, but today I was on. It said my longest streak on record. So I've been consistently like doing a workout or being active for like nine days straight was your apple watch surprised like are you okay yeah it's like are whoa you, dude like, hey, no, what's is, going this, on? is this is this, is this stolen, is this stolen? <laughs> <laughs> but but no yeah and then even today after the run uh, he gave me like a little medal for running like a 3k oh nice or 5k yeah 5k sorry oh, good. um but no yeah so it's like it's little accomplishments like that that i don't know it just kind of makes you like keep that ball rolling you know yeah, like keep yeah. it going and then obviously with the with the gym too in the mornings um We've been taking uh, th- like different people in, and then obviously as more people like know, they also want to join us. So I feel like tomorrow morning should be interesting. You know, and, and today uh, I'm gonna be honest, I really didn't feel like showing up. Right? I, yeah, I didn't feel like showing up. Why? But, well, because I was. Uh, I mean, I slept like four hours because um, I had to go to. I went to LAX like at midnight yesterday, last night. So you I got was deported. Was, no, <laughs> no, no, <laughs> not yet. Thankfully, uh, but no, no, I felt really tired. I'm still tired. I feel still feel tired right now, but I'm glad I went. Like I, I forget, it's it's just always fun. Like it's, it's always a good time. Yeah. It's always like uh, it's kind of like going to the gym, right? Sometimes yeah. you don't want to be at the gym, but once you finish your workout, good. Mm-hmm. you're like, I'm happy I came. Yeah, like yeah. I'm happy I'm there because like, like I would have been at home laying down. Like I don't know, it just feels like it feels good when you're done with it. Yeah. But at the moment when you're walking in, you're like, man, I, I want to go home. And honestly, as soon as I walked up to that huge group of people, I was like, I got like this energy, like, right? Energy, yeah. Like <laughs> my headache went away. I was like, dude, let's do this. Like yeah. I want to start now. No, yeah, I remember I called Herbert too because obviously it was almost time to like start running and i was like hey man like where are you and he's like oh i'm not gonna make it obviously joking around i was like oh man like for real like i felt kind of let down the next thing you know i i hang up and i turn around and i see him walking towards me i was like you he mother always trucker, does dude. i know it's like wow <laughs> like, but honestly yeah. from what you said though sorry um like even like, like that was me today at the gym like i went to the gym i was i did my workout and then i was gonna cut it at 45 minutes you know after like my workouts but I've been doing like a little cardio afterwards, so I either go on the on the treadmill or like do cycling. And I was gonna say like no, like I'm done, but I felt like I was cheating myself a little bit. And I was like, no, you know what, I gotta do it. So like I did 10, 15 minutes at the end, and I was like, okay, like I feel like I completed you, my workout. Have you like, been I'm feeling? Done. Have you been feeling better now? Like since you're consistently going, like do you feel healthy? Like healthier? I honestly, yeah, I kind of yeah. do, and then. Are you losing weight? I'm just saying. No, no honestly, I feel like are, I, I feel like yeah. I did. I did lose a little weight. Uh, I mean, I would say maybe fat, just because I've been doing like cardio a little more. Obviously, running with you guys has helped, and then um, after we work out, obviously, like I said, treadmill cycling. Mm-hmm. So I've been incorporating that a lot more, and yeah, dude. Honestly, I feel like I'm maybe gaining muscle too, because I mean, some of the shirts that I wear now, like they feel kind of tight, and I was like, oh Hell crap, yeah. like nice. do I have to go up like a size? Like That's this good. is crazy. No, 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 same size, same size. Oh, I know, yeah, man. Be like, it looks everything looks fitted. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah, yeah. it's better. Yeah. yeah. Not only that though, uh, I did talk to Ronnie though. I said because we kind of like try to keep our health, you know, eating healthy too if we can, you know. So yeah. I told uh, like eating good snacks and all that, giving the body what it needs. And I told, uh, I think I told, yeah, I told Ronnie. I was like, hey, I started making protein shakes and I started adding Greek yogurt. Um, mm. So I had a Greek yogurt from like Costco. I buy the mm-hmm. like the plain one. 
And I thought at first it was gonna taste disgusting. No, it's good like that. No, it's pretty good. So I recommend whoever is hmm. drinking protein shakes yeah. add like a Greek yogurt on it. And I kid you not, it it, it hits. I've never the heard spot. that. What is that? Greek that's, start doing it. It's just yogurt. But Greek yogurt. That's like, also good for overnight oats. And okay. then speaking yeah. about healthy snacks, have you made the oatmeal balls, Herbert? <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Sorry. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna be honest. I haven't. No. They're still in the pantry. Oh I, st- I still don't have the protein. It, I, still, man. I still don't have the protein. I haven't bought just the protein. Just Just take two scoops right now. With yeah, yeah. No, I or wanna, later. I don't want to bother you guys. It's only a scoop or two. I, I feel ha- like we're only friends during the podcast. That I don't even talk to you guys anymore. No, no. We're friends every day. I know. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, going back to the... So yeah, you should try that, Ronnie. Add Greek yogurt to your protein shake. Um, Buy a tub. You know, give it a try. You never know. But it adds mm-hmm. more protein to your, your protein shake. You know, because yeah. you normally want to um, drink a lot of protein or have a lot of protein the the, the goal is to have as much protein as your uh, as your weight like you want to like gain so like, you want to gain like you want to weigh like 180 you have to have 180 grams, grams of, protein of protein per day yeah so like that's or if you want to lose weight then you want to have 140 yeah. you want to lose to 140 whatever well, yeah pound. actually um last time i went to the store too um because usually typically in the mornings like i'll make myself like a little a little sandwich and I'll typically have that with either like something to drink. I need something to drink always. Yeah. So what I would do before is I would maybe like do like a smoothie or like a juice. Um, but now I, I was like, I, yeah, like you said, like I want to obviously intake a little more protein. So I started like doing yogurt because okay. obviously it has more than a juice comparable. But, um, but no, yeah, so I've been doing that and I've been kind of like a little more conscious about that too. So yeah, but at the end of the day, just go shopping and or look up even recipes on TikTok or Instagram mm-hmm. and just go shopping and then just you yourself buy some stuff for to eat in the morning or after workouts just so you can have at home, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like at your house. But um, it's always good. Like your body wants it, you know, and sometimes it asks for it. But, uh, you know, moving forward, though, good job, though. I'm happy that we're all there, though, in the run. And like I said, happy birthday, Kristen. But uh, yes. going forward, though, I want to give a shout out to Carlos, Batty Carlos, uh, He's been cycling by himself, though. Uh, he's been putting miles every Saturday. He's been consistent. He did 91 miles this past, Jesus this past Saturday. I know, dude, I was supposed to join him for that ride, and I'm glad I didn't. Where did he go? What? He went all the way to the beach and uh, and back, and uh, he did 91 miles. Um, I, I, I think he said he couldn't do 100 miles because he had a he, he got a flat, and then he mm. fixed it, but he kind of like, you know, sometimes when you... You lose it. Yeah, you lose the motivation, I guess. Um, It, it is what it is, but 91 miles, though, I still props yeah. six, to... He was moving for six hours and estimated 4,000 um, 4, plus calories lost. That's yes, ridiculous. that's a ton. So, like, imagine... Yeah. How, Good for him. So, if you guys don't know Carlos, Batty Carlos, uh, he eats... He eats a lot. Yeah. <laughs> we all know it here. Like, literally, if you invite him over somewhere, you better have, like... Three portions for yeah. him. We're in, no, we're in a group chat, and sometimes he would send, like, what, two, like, three by threes, and then, like, a whole, like, six donuts from Donut Man. With and animal style eat, fries. And he can eat them by himself, and he's, he's still hungry. So yeah. don't be around him when he's hungry. No, so, like, and then um, he does tell me, because I asked him, I was like, why do you eat so much, right? And he says that sometimes he skips, he skips like, breakfast or something, which is fine, you know, do what you got to do. But, uh, yeah, he eats a lot. And uh, the good thing, though, is, like, me and Rika know this, that he eats a lot, but he does work out every He works out a lot, yeah. too. So. so it's, like, he he knows what he's doing, right? He's not, like, just doing it just because. I've know. seen him shirtless, and trust me, he looks fine. <laughs> That's, you're disgusting. Yeah. You look good shirtless, too. <laughs> what can I say? You look Should good we do shirtless? a shirtless podcast? See what everyone's working with? I know. Yeah, and, that's and fine. As long as you don't record we'll it. Pic- no, we'll, no record. we'll do one shirtless, and then next time we'll just do, like, no bottoms. At the, the next uh, <laughs> well, we, well, we'll we'll talk about okay. it. But. <laughs> but, yeah, Carlos, though, if you're listening to this, uh, congrats on his 91-mile bike ride. Sorry he, for not joining. Yeah, sorry for not joining us. I'm not sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> Ronnie, what about you? Nope. Yeah. Not at all, man. I am. I'm, I'm sorry. Good. That's all you, yeah. But uh, he does want to do 100 miles, which is a century. So he was there. Basically, nine miles is around, around the corner. So he could do it. He already did 91. Um, So I think sooner than later, maybe by the end of the month or by February, he, he's going to hit the century, which I want to probably do with him because that's a big milestone. Something that um, like we see as a, as a reward. Like, it's crazy. Like, if you could do that, like 100 miles doesn't seem like a lot like in a bike or driving you know when you drive it's like 100 miles like oh whatever it's 100 miles from here to san diego yeah so but imagine bike riding that like your butt hurts for sure you get sore um your legs are just shocked and sometimes you get cramps and it lasts like eight hours to do the 100 miles yeah so, so it's, it's painful but it's 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 rewarding i, I think we, we in the baddies try at least me and jonathan to like do something extreme in every form of fitness. So like running, we've done uh, something extreme. Hiking, we've done extreme. Cycling, we've done extreme. 
we've pretty much done extreme on all these events just to push ourselves to the limits, you know, but it's super exciting. It's rewarding when you can accomplish that and know that like not many people can. So it's really cool. And not only that, though, we kind of do it just for ourselves. It's not like, you know, some people say like, oh, they're trying to show off and stuff. Like, no, we're just here to help others. And if other people want to join us through our like fitness journey, through our goals, then all for it. You know, we, we, we don't stop anybody. Like if you think you got what it takes to do 100 miles and you want to join us, I'll be more than happy to take you. Or even if you don't, we can help you train for it. Because, I mean, we, we didn't know we can do 100 before we did 100. But, I mean, at our fitness level, we that's that's what's going to challenge us. So, we ended up doing it. And now we know that that is a peak of one of our challenges, I guess. And what I like about you guys is, like, you guys don't need... You know how people do them? Like, you go to events and you can try to get that medal. And do people have those collections? Oh, yeah. I don't really like, care for medals or you pain. Don't, you or, don't need that. You do it for yourselves. Huh? You and do it for the, yourself. You know what I tell people? Like, like, I know some people need motivation. And the good thing that us here in the baddies, we have our own motivation. Um, the cool thing is I could literally call everybody here, my brothers, because, like, if I need something, I could call Ronnie. Hey, come help me. Can you come pick me up? And he has done it before. I mean, me and Enrique did our 50K, remember? Um, he has picked us up. He has woke up early yeah. at 4 o'clock on a Saturday. He has could have been sleeping in. I thought Ronnie wasn't a, uh, what is it called? Uh, like, bell on me or on <laughs> us, but he didn't. Like, he literally dropped us off in the starting point. Yeah, you usually then, get home at that time. <laughs> I know, right? From the parties. <laughs> but um, it's, like, crazy, though. Like, um, we have our own motivation. If you guys don't see that, though, like, it's... Like, yes, yeah, should, you know, like we're here to help each other get stronger, healthier, live happy, you know, just go through life, you know, like in a cool way, because we need a work life balance, you know, and it's something that I notice. Um, sometimes like a lot of people just work, 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 and they don't do anything outside of life. Like you want to live life like you want to like, you know, you know, have fun, party, but you also want to like take care of your health because health is wealth. You know what I mean? So. Um, something that, yeah, like me and Enrique do, like he motivates me to do stuff and I motivate him. Sometimes he calls me crazy, like you're stupid. You're like, well, you <laughs> I know, think he just calls you that, it's just a normal day, huh? No, <laughs> no we just like- But we do it anyways. Yeah, yeah, like well, I need, I need Enrique like since kindergarten. Wait, so, wait, I, I, so who's like the fastest oh me? Oh my God, I, I already knew what you were gonna ask. <laughs> but uh, Both yeah. of us. <laughs> but like one thing though, like I just wanna bring it out, like do you really need to pay a hundred, two hundred, three hundred dollars for a medal and a t-shirt or to like to do an event rather than just buying your stuff your gear like extra shoes whatever you need or, or you can buy a baddie shirt for a fraction of that cost <laughs> yeah we'll but, be there to cheer you on yeah but like you know what i mean like you could kind of do it yourself you know you could find there's a lot of groups there's us there's other groups out there that will be more than happy to push you to your limit um you just gotta ask and that's something that i learned like in fitness and even in life just ask you know and you'll get what you want like basically Hey, I want to do this. And like Enrique said, you want to do it? Then we'll, we'll train you to do it. It might take time. It might take you like three months, four months, five months, six months, but bear with us. You know, we'll, we'll get you to where you want to be. Uh, some, one example is like Sandra, you know, Sandra. So from base to Alibi, I remember when she said she wants to do a sprint triathlon where I was like, I'll be more than happy to train you on your bike. And yeah, she got her bike and we were able to help her. Yeah. She moved now and she's away from us, but you know, we still see her as like, you know, we still follow her. We still see her as a, as our friend and we miss her, but you know, like we, she, she'll come visit us. So I hope we can hang out with her when she comes back. But you know what I mean? Like we're here for her. Like we're here for anybody. So I know Enrique says this consistency is the key to success. And I think that's, we're always going to be pushing that. And I hope Enrique, uh, you know, like keeps pushing me as I'm pushing him. So yes. we're kind of slacking off a little bit, but it's not, it's not slacking. It's more of a, we're busy with other things, but stay tuned. Cause Hikes, I'm telling you, hikes, we're going to come back strong because we have to do more hikes, guys. And you guys know this. Yes, so, 100%. And we love the night hikes, too. You guys know that we love night hikes. It's something else. It's just something different, different vibes, I guess. But it's just fun, right? Even if we do a small one to a big one. And then uh, one thing, though, you guys know Open Door, right? Open Door Trail. Uh, Steve, the one that takes care of Open Door, he basically... Uh, the the what is it the cross fell down because of all the winds and the water or not the water the, the rain. rain uh the cross finally fell down after like pff, i don't know how many years but 20 years let's say uh so he said that he had, it was able to get donations and he's gonna put up a new cross so this saturday i might go help him you know he already dig the hole so i might help him do the rest like help him do whatever hands he needs so maybe me and i don't know if you guys are available if you guys are not available it's fine he probably has other people, but I'm going to go out there on Saturday in the morning and, you know, give him a hand because we're here to support that trail. I love that trail. It's a small, easy, quick one mile to 1000 feet elevation getting on one mile. 
And I feel like that trail is like around the corner. So I, I kind of call it like my home because that's where I also propose. So it's kind of like, you know, I love that trail. It's just, it's meaningful to me. And it's weird though, because I just went up to it like on Saturday and I did not see the, the cross, right? Because it's, it's Does down. It, feel weird? it felt so weird. I kid you not, dude. You walk up to it and you're like, where's the cross? Like you feel like it's empty, bro. Yeah. Kid yeah. you not. Like I wish you guys would have been there to like kind of felt what yeah. I felt. And, and not just me, I, other, other followers that we have said the same thing. What's her name? Uh, Char- not Charlene. Charlene. Oh, yeah. She, she said the same thing. She said yeah. that she felt when she went up there, she saw, she didn't see it. And she's like, what? Like what happened to like it? Where is trail, it? Yeah. yeah. Like, cause a lot of people look forward to that cross. Mm-hmm. They like to take pictures there or they just feel like a Zen or what is it? Like relax. Right. Like yeah. they just feel like, Oh, I, I made it to the peak. Like I could go down. I could go home now, you know? So that's something that uh, he's working on. So Steve, that's awesome, man. Yeah, yeah. So congrats to Steve because he's putting that like um, he's going above and beyond, and he's putting the new. He says it's gonna be bigger. It's gonna be a bigger cross. So Whoa. can't wait to see it. He already ordered all the material, so it's another cool because we're gonna see it. We're gonna go. It's a little there. exciting to be honest. Dang, that's crazy. What should be like all out like, dude? It's I like hope- carbon fiber cross. Like, <laughs> damn, dude, we went all out. No, a, he said a he- Tesla. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just the Tesla symbols. Like, damn, dude, that's the T. Yeah. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's, that's a wrong cross. <laughs> it's, a, it's a cross, no, not a T. It's for the real God, Elon. <laughs> Elon Musk. Just kidding, just kidding. But uh, yeah, so I'm looking for. I'm looking forward to that. But uh, next week, though, dude, the the month is already over like basically dude, January I, yeah, is- I, I think I saw I looked at Ron I was like dude we're already a month out like a month in like damn no cause I know tonight we mentioned that oh hey next week it's gonna be the first month. run of the month and that's what like, made me realize that that it hit me tonight too yeah. and I was like wait next week is February like it shook me yeah what like a whole month is gone like one t- yeah one twelve of the whole year it's like <laughs> done I know it's kind of scary <laughs> but yeah, this, this year I feel it's gonna fly and you know what people say, like, the older you get, the faster... I, I realize that. I'm like, dude, make it stop. Like, I don't I don't <laughs> like this. Hey, one blink of an eye, we're going to do a podcast in a senior home. Like, if the, <laughs> there's going to be a tombstone at one of the chairs. Like, Damn, stop. I ripped, <laughs> hey, you crazy kids. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, uh, yeah, so next week is going to be, yeah, our first run of February, and we're going to have ginger shots. So I'm excited. Whoever hasn't joined our runs and wants to... That's like the best time to join when we have our ginger shots because we make them home. Well, I make them homemade. Yeah, and um, it's just fun. It's every, another. It's I, a like, good time. I, everyone loves your ginger shots. Exactly. Everybody loves them. I think um, Kristen or someone was saying that they feel weird buying a ginger shot from the store because they like it doesn't taste the same and it just feels weird paying for it because you know how we we give them for free. Your, do you have like a like a it's like, a secret. Like a secret. Do you spit in the... No, I don't <laughs> Why is it so good? I don't spit in it. No, so, no. Wait, wait, wait. Did you, wait, 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 wait. Did you just assume his spit would taste good? Well, I'm just... I, I don't know. I, yeah. I did. Actually, yeah. I did, I really I'm like, wait a minute, that. wait a minute. I, I think Jonathan just buys it in bulk at Costco and just like pulls up on... <laughs> just it. pours it. Yeah, I just put like water, water it down. <laughs> no, but uh, yeah. And then my orange tree, uh, it gave, you know, new oranges this year. So... I'm excited to try the new batch, you know, because oh, yeah. that's sometimes I buy them in the store because you know I don't have oranges, but sometimes and most of the time I pick them for my tree and mm-hmm. you know I use those oranges because um you know either I don't I want to eat them you know or or drink them so I'm excited to use the new oranges from this yeah. year and uh, yeah this year's been crazy though all the rain though man it's been raining like crazy not only that the winds oh my god the winds came oh, out yeah, of last, nowhere like the last two nights or something like that yeah so yeah. tell me why i ended up doing the winds i ended like the winds came on sunday night i ended up doing the yard on sunday and like you know when you do the yard you like blow <laughs> you clean up everything it looked beautiful right bro I, like at night it was like i woke up and it's all dirty again i was You're like, like Fuck. I got mad. <laughs> bro i feel like i feel like whatever I, no <laughs> like, what the, what that I, I like spent like 30 minutes or an hour and i'm like I'm not saying it went away. Did you just like go outside and just start yelling at the? <laughs> no, I did. <laughs> I just, Stop. I just told Monica, I was like, man, I gotta do it again. So I ended up, yeah, like the, I think on Monday when I came home from work, I ended up like, I had to clean up, like you know, because I was like, I don't know, I feel, I, yeah. I was like, I need to clean up again. Uh, but yeah, I heard that the winds are gonna keep coming back. I don't know. I think on Thursday this week or whatever week, or like whatever day, but they're gonna come back. So, but yeah, these winds are crazy. And I heard that the winds are even worse at Mount Baldy. I heard that they're like. They got like 60 to 70 miles per hour. No way. Yeah, kid you not. Look it up. What? Six, I, 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 That's strong. 
Have you guys that's ever felt crazy? Low. Have you felt sixteen? I, yeah, I have, and that's that's. I think that might. I don't know if it's hard to walk on that. That might blow you away. I must, I look, <laughs> no, I really would. I you, like stuck my head out when we were doing like at least forty in the car. That's strong. No, that's car. No, that's but strong. I kind of want to buy a kite. <laughs> oh, that'd be cool. Uh, You'll fly. I know. <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah, like I never felt sixty. I probably felt like maybe forty, but yeah, you're right. I think it'll push you. It'll push you. Push you mm. somewhere Or you'll feel uncomfortable To the point where you're like Bro I want to get out I want to go home Or something you know um, I think the last time We experienced winds In the um, cold Was in Iron Mountain A while back Me and Enrique And I remember It was not the best feeling ever Because the winds And the cold Oh my god That's like the worst Combo ever Wear chapsticks Wear double socks Wear Ooh. gloves Wear like a double windbreaker Do you, you guys have hoodies? Or no I'm just like <laughs> No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah uh, we we wear sweaters, jackets. I don't know what you were trying to get at, but <laughs> but yeah, we we wear all yeah, that we stuff. Have. <laughs> oh my god, Rick and, and Herbert, come on, Herbert. No, no. Well, besides winds, you know what else has been crazy? That's been going on. What's been crazy? Earthquakes. Hell yeah. Wait, that was I heard that was Herbert. He had a he had a dream and he fell off the bed and he fell. Oh, to the floor. and the whole world quake. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy, dude. Oh, yeah, didn't it mess up your leaves too? When <laughs> I, hope, I hope it did. No, they called I, it a herb quake. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, I like that. <laughs> the herb quake. No, but uh, it was a 4.2. Where was it at? Yeah, it was It was 4.2. It was kind of oh, close wait, to... No, uh, Where's the epicenter? I, just Show say, me. Oh, it's, no, it's it says not, your mom's house. <laughs> <laughs> it was a magnitude 4.2 earthquake, and it was it was basically centered at Malibu, and it extended all the way to like... I guess to where we're at and in Glendora, Sousa, it was soft there, but it was harder at like Malibu and like Long Beach areas. So it was at 2 a.m. in the morning. I was, so most I was people sleeping. didn't feel it. And then for those of you that don't know, each each magnitude, when, when you're talking about magnitudes and earthquakes, it's 33 times stronger because they, they escalate fast and strong. So from, from four magnitude to five, that it's 33 times stronger, which that's a big jump. So when you go from five to six to seven, that's our like 66 times stronger than the last one, Whoa. which to kind of put a little more perspective on this one. 4.2 has been the highest one that happened here in, in LA, like in the last year, I think. All the other ones have been two point something, three point something, and no one talks about them because you, you barely feel them. Mm-hmm. But this 4.2 is the highest one that happened um, recently, I guess. Mm-hmm. It's not scary high because four is not that scary, but like it, it was still something people felt. Do you guys remember the last earthquake where that you were like, like awake to feel and then you're like, yeah, I did. It, it doesn't weird. like take like one or two seconds like to to like actually to like, process set in. It's like oh, that's an earthquake. Yeah, like, you, you know, start like, seeing like the walls or wherever you're. Yeah, at yeah, you're trying to see like objects see if they're yeah. moving around. And then yeah. I, you know what they say like like act on it. Like what if it's the biggest earth? You know how what they say we're waiting for the big one. Big one. Yeah. But like, wouldn't it be too late if you're trying to process it? Well, I guess everything. Well, will there's an like, aftershock. Oh, yeah. So yeah, there's aftershocks too. Okay, what do you guys do on a big earthquake? I run. That's you run. Like, where do you go just though? Where do you? Start running down. Start making ginger shots. <laughs> no, like, do you guys know like what's like well, what you're supposed to do in a sense? If it's aggressive, you take cover under like a desk under or something. Under a so- table, something sturdy. Yeah. If, yes. if you have time or whatever, like, which I would, I'm not pretending like most people do, but you want to step outside, away from any building, trees, whatever, and just like situation awareness. Just look everywhere all the time so you know what's around you because stuff can fall on you. Yeah. You know, I what? heard also under like a doorway is always good. Under a doorway, yeah. Under a doorway? Yeah, because yeah. it's a strong frame. on the, Every door frame is a strong frame. So if you just stand on the doorway, then if stuff breaks or falls, it'll be not on the doorway. It'll be oh, everywhere else. Damn, that's interesting. Would, yeah, would no. you be thinking about the the leaves you just like had? No, no, no I, I, don't care. I won't care about what I what I did the yard. The leaves. <laughs> no, but uh, yeah, I, I feel like also, I feel like people should, I'm not prepared. Like, you know how people say be prepared to have some like backup food or whatever, like canned food, yeah. uh, waters. I might have waters and stuff, but like, I don't have any canned food. Like mm-hmm. I have like beans and stuff, like lentils. You're gonna and have beans. like extra ginger shots, like ready to go. Like, <laughs> no, <laughs> give them to give them to my neighbors. <laughs> no, but uh, yeah, it's just scary though. Like I know we've been we talked about this earlier. I know that we've been they've been saying the big ones coming. It's been the coming. big one since we were kids. Dude, well, okay, they've been, okay, they've been saying that since I landed in the U.S. Okay, bro. but let me that was a while. Let me give you guys some motivation. <laughs> um, a couple of days ago, scientists realized that the Earth's core stopped rotating the same direction as the earth rotation and it started rotating backwards what that means is that either more earthquakes can happen it could delay the day's time so a day would be shorter or longer um but it's not scary because if if, if the day shortens or gets longer it'll be by milliseconds (laughs) but if if the earth's core is changing rotation it can change our magnetic field too and that can be very dangerous for people oh yeah the magnetic field so if our North Pole becomes South Pole and South becomes North, that Wait, can be devastating. Wait, then these just like change everything, like how the weather works and like like. Yeah, well, yeah, that's yeah. something. It, it could have a lot of big effects, but scientists are still like looking into it. But they, they realize that it slowed down and it might be 
rocked in the other direction. Now I'm just curious, like, did you read a why it happened? Uh, well, it, it's or it just happened. Well, it's it's the Earth's core that it it's, it happens like every million thousand years on in planets or stars or whatever. Um, and it's happening to our planet now. Yeah, it's a little it, bipolar, I guess. Yeah, it's it's a little bipolar. Yeah, but it's, it's nothing like, to it, be scared about. It's though. like Herbert. Herbert's bipolar. Well, only only to you, dude. It's fine. <laughs> but like, um, what would like happen? Like, what's what's? Do they? Ha- did, I'm guessing they like did some. They said some type of like. Um, like well, the worst type of things would happen at this. Like, did they have well, like, a longer day, shorter day, magnetic field? But but it, it's it, it's going to be a small change. It's nothing to worry about right now. If it starts speeding up, then maybe that can be a problem because before it was spinning in the same direction as Earth. So that's what helped everything flow because mm. they're both spinning the same direction. But so if it spins I'm just curious, like, way, would my parents get back together like now or what's that? Yeah, uh, with magnetic field changing, probably, dude. I don't I don't know. Know. So I, I, I have hope for I'm you. I'm tired of like two Christmases. I have an urge to go buy canned food now. Yeah, me just too. Just to like have it handy, <laughs> dude. Because it's like you know when people buy eggs. Okay, the oh, eggs. Yeah. Okay, the eggs. I went back to Costco and the eggs are like six dollars for like two like, dozens or whatever. But they're sold out. Like people go in the morning. You know how they stock up in the morning? I guess people know like go in the morning and get your like stock of eggs, yeah. or whatever. But uh, but yeah, I wasn't able to get any eggs. It's been you, huh? You're there. No, open. no, no, no. I'm not. Did I want to? But no. look under his bed. There's like cartons of eggs. <laughs> <laughs> like look at the trash can there's like all these like what there's is just it? eggs in the yeah, um, egg in shows. the lawn <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah it's crazy though the earthquake though um the only thing what if what if we're hiking are we doing some time that would of, be scary actually and then the whole mountain just woo, like you're like no, honestly i feel like it's every man for himself at that point you guys are on your own <laughs> what happened to the the brotherhood it's it's out the window at that point bro <laughs> no like, uh-uh. I, I would protect nah, you guys dude, I, that's how would you were... protect me against I, I would guide would you, you guys to ground? safety no i would i would guide you guys to safety make sure everyone's okay you, you can even trust the compass though the magnetic like fields it, change it's, like it's what do you earthquake. do i'm not that's true actually i didn't think about that yeah the compass would change gps would be all messed up too but I don't know. I don't know. It's don't exciting. Know. No, I honestly, fine. no. I feel like if it happened to us, like when we're out, honestly, I feel like we're bored together. It'd be kind of fun. It'd be funny. <laughs> I'll be, I'll, okay. I would just start laughing. <laughs> Dude, do the podcast. Like, do you have to, you have to start twerking. <laughs> like, did that just happen? Yeah, man. Start playing some like music, like Bad Bunny, baby. I'm just saying, but right. yeah, I, I feel like I feel like um, I feel like it will be scary though. It will be scary. Like for we'll sure. we'll for sure be like, what's going on? Like we'll look at each other. And we're like. I don't know do what guys, will happen. The uh, trees will fall down on us. I don't know. Do you guys ever see those pictures of like when, uh, what was that big uh, volcano that erupted in Italy? Like Mount Pompeii? Oh, Pompeii? Yeah. Way you know, back and when? then there's like uh, some fossilized people, people hugging. like hugging. Like, we think that'd be us. <laughs> <laughs> just four guys. I was like, oh my God, this is a nice like four way gay couple. Yeah. I was like, no, those are the baddies. <laughs> I think, <laughs> I think friends. we should try to make a funny pose like before we all disintegrate. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that way, like a hundred years later, they the find us like, pose? what the hell are these guys <laughs> doing over here, man? <laughs> That's bad. Okay. But uh, we have been uh, up, up like, uh, what is it? Uploading some of the Herbert's, uh, what is it called? Memes. Oh, you would we... upload one last meme. Okay, we're going to upload a lot of memes. Yeah. We're... Okay. yeah the yeah. thing is, I want to say that I want to be making more memes for Herbert. So please, Ronnie, give me some like suggestions because um, uh, you find we'll, something. Well, good content. Don't worry. Yeah, because yeah. uh, it's funny. Like, I was going to post one with Herbert, like the wind, like kind of getting blown by the wind. Uh-huh. But uh, I was like, man, it's too late because it was like only one night, you know? Oh. Uh-huh. But it was back to back wins and I would have posted it. But I should have posted one like with the rain too. Like you're like kind of sad in the rain and stuff. But yeah, sooner than later, I'll be posting more memes about Herbert. Something it's just, I want you guys to like laugh, you know, have a good time. Like our, all our followers. Cause like we're here for a good time, you know, mm-hmm. not, uh, not for a long time. Cause time's flying by, you know? So yeah, man, next thing you know, it's, well, I don't know. <laughs> so speaking about a good time, if, I don't know if you guys want another fun fact for science, but oh, tell me, if, I don't know if you guys know, but in the next coming days, beginning of, of February, like almost for a week, um, an asteroid meteor is going to pass really, really close to Earth's orbit. Oh, it's going to be like green, right? Like dangerously close. It's going to be like 2,000 miles away, which Earth's core is like 3,000 miles per perspective if that does anything to you. That's but, far, dude. But, yeah, yeah, well, yeah, it's far. Like, I don't it's, know, it's, I don't know Earth is safe. Is. Earth is safe. But what's cool about it is, is it's going to be close enough for that you can see it with your own visible. eyes. Visible. Yeah, it's, it's, it's visible to Wait, the naked eye without using it, a telescope. When is it? Um, in the next couple of days, it's going to be for a couple of days, I think. I think it's on Valentine's Day. Early right? February, right? Not it's, early it's February. Like, no, like literally in three yeah. days and like early February, like it's those days. Like if, you, if you go outside at a certain time and you see a big old shooting star that doesn't that doesn't die, then it's going to be the, an asteroid. You just see Herbert running <laughs> in the street. <laughs> but that's just cool, right? It's really cool to see an asteroid just pass by Herbert us. Herbert butt naked. <laughs> if you make a meme of me as the asteroid. Yeah, I'm oh, done. <laughs> Hey, um, but why would it be buck naked? First of all? <laughs> I don't know. Why not? I'm not a werewolf. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about asteroids, though, I do like the asteroids. Uh, hot cheetos. Oh, the hot cheetos. <laughs> I miss oh, those. <laughs> oh, those are good. That's yeah. right. What happened to them? The balls? No, no, they're back, dude. They're I in just, every store. Yeah, I you go to them, they're there. I, I gotta get some. 
Th- those are like, I think all of us have like a snack that we like, like cause of, like a bad snack. And uh, Enrique loves the black. The black bag of hot Cheetos. Oh, my favorite. Oh, hi, you know what you should try? Try the black bag of popcorn hot Cheetos. Popcorn, you know they, they have, have that. They have yeah, that? they do. Bro. They have like a really spicy one. Yeah, they do. I like the popcorn Wait, hot you've never had the popcorns? No, I've had the popcorn no, no, hot Cheetos, pop- but not, not but the spicy one. The spicier one. one, not the red bag. The black. No, bag. it's a black bag. Yeah. No, it's been out for a while, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or is this I a new know. one? No, it's the same one. Oh, okay. No, what? yeah, those are. Okay, bro. I, I don't need them. spicy, but those are good, dude. Them. Like, dude, if you guys could find addictive. them in the store, I think you could order them on Amazon or whatever. I don't know. You could find them. Offer it, maybe. I don't know. But uh, yeah, just give him a try. Um, but yeah, uh, you know what? I also want to give a shout out to Luis. Luis came back though. Oh I, yeah. Just good. I'm thinking about this, but Luis came back to the run, and this was his first run of the year, and he did a good job. Uh, he was staying, staying with us. Uh, he he staying, came back strong, man. Yeah, he was pushing. Was like, good. Yeah, yeah. I thought honestly, because I stay behind. I'm a slow runner. I'm not gonna lie. I thought it was gonna be with me. I thought we were gonna be having a chat, but honestly, he was pushing. I saw him like from a distance. I was like, my man is going strong. Hell yeah. He was doing good. I think he was trying to w- stay away from me. He told me. Not but. probably, but <laughs> it's all good. But uh, yeah, so we're going to conclude that podcast with, uh, you know, saying that thank you guys so much. Happy birthday, Kristen. Um, I know it passed, but we, we got you with the presents and all that. I hope you like your present. Please do not spend it all at once. And I hope, or, you ha- I hope uh, it has money. <laughs> no, <laughs> so spend just, it all at once. Yeah, no. But uh, <laughs> yeah, buy something cool because I know you like hiking and doing all that stuff. And stay tuned for the next future hikes. If we have some soon, we might have some pop-up hikes. That means that it's going to be last-minute hikes. If you can make it, come through. If you can't, then, you know, come through to the next one. But we're also going to do some cycling. Uh, maybe this Saturday we'll do a cycling event. Uh, like, maybe, like, 15, th- 15 20 aren't miles. Aren't you hiking this Saturday? Yeah, the in church? the morning. After, after, like, maybe, like, at 10 o'clock or 11 p.m. or a.m. Uh, do, like, a, like... 20 mile bike ride to Morovia. If it's short, maybe. Yeah, you, no, 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 you're going to Rican. Don't say it's maybe. Uh, I'm down. And Why maybe not? you're going to be free, uh, Herbert. You're and going maybe to. Maybe <laughs> no, Ronnie. But uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for listening. <laughs> thank you so much for listening to us. Like I said, we have the podcast on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and YouTube. And then we have the TikTok on working out. And I've been posting a lot of workouts. So stay updated. I, I'm going to be posting more of uh, Ronnie. I want him to get into it. Uh, you know, recording himself. It's kind of hard sometimes when you go by yourself, right? Because you kind it's kind of awkward. But uh, we want to get those workouts in. And then our Instagram reels, stay tuned. Just follow us. If you have any questions, I'm saying DM us. Don't be afraid. And we're there to answer questions for anything, all right? So we love you guys. And we'll see you guys soon in the next event. Thank you.